Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Aris. I'm the CEO of Wallfarm. And today, I'm going to present to you the Intel inside of vertical farming. Vertical farming. For those who don't know what it is, vertical farming is what's going to shape the cities of our future and to save our planet from the major problems that our children are going to face. In fact, farmland is running out, and food has never been so polluted. Vertical farming will let food grow on the walls of skyscrapers, in urban greenhouses, and most of all, in our own homes. Vertical farming in the home is so popular that everyone is working on it, from projects on Kickstarter to billion-dollar companies. Well, I have personally spoken with those players and realized that vertical farming systems for the home still have major problems. If you're not an agronomist, most likely your plants will never grow. And if you try, remember, you need to check them daily. This is incompatible with urban lifestyle. To overcome this, companies are trying to apply artificial intelligence to plants' growth, but it's still extremely expensive. As in the 1990s, Intel, with their CPUs, helped personal computers to conquer the mass market. Vertical farming needs a sort of Intel inside as well, and it's us, Wallfarm. And this is our CPU. The central unit automates the entire plant life cycle, from regulating the nutrients to the pH to the lighting and everything in between. But we are not competing with those vertical farming giants, because these companies will buy our unit and equip their own vertical farms with it, so that their plants grow at the push of a single button. And finally, at an affordable price. The vertical farming market is going to be worth 5.8 billion by 2022, growing almost 25% per year. And we estimate that 10% of this market is going to be dedicated to providers of vertical farming CPUs. Well, with those numbers, of course, some other companies out there thought that it's smart to sell vertical farming CPUs. But look at their prices. Can you really build an affordable vertical farm around them? Of course not. But our product costs three times less. To get here, we had to reach some big technological achievements. We tore down the cost of the two key components of the automation box, sensors, with an 80% production cost drop, and the micro dispenser with a 90% production cost drop. And yes, technology is patent pending. So having a unit on the market means, apart from its own gross margin, bringing in 12 euros per month in revenues per unit related to the sales of the refill cartridges, through which the CPU provides the nutrients to the vertical farm. Be aware, cartridges are not replicable. But for a big technology achievement, you need to have a great team. On the top left, there's me, Aris. I'm the CEO of Wolf Farm, and I basically make all those things running smoothly. Besides me, Christian, our CTO with five years' experience in the spin-off of one of the biggest research centers in Italy, Enea. Then Jacopo, our salesman, he built a traction of more than six fashion companies so far and now moved to hydroponics. Below me, Giulio, our industrial designer, with dozens of projects in his portfolio. Massimiliano, environmental engineer, he has tested more than 1,000 plants so far. 
and Gaia, web designer with 3D modeling and coding skills. We are far ahead in product development. We have partners for producing hardware, plastic shell and mechanics, hydraulics enclosures, where most of the IP stands, and the final assembly. And we already have a strong pipeline. We are running a pilot with the biggest home vertical farming company in the world, after which we can reach up to 40,000 device sales per year. By the end of the month, we'll also launch a pilot with Polyform, one of the top luxury interior design companies in the world, as well as Agrilution, top European startup in home vertical farming. And not one, not two, but up to 20 pilots with Metro Group. Worldwide leader in services to restaurants and hotels. So by the end of the quarter, we'll have those pilots running. And in the next, we'll build the malls in order to get to production in the third quarter with the first 1,400 units that we are planning to sell by year end. By the end of next year, we're planning to reach 10,000 device sales, and in five years, to have 60,000 device and 700,000 cartridge sales per year, and almost 30 million in revenues. But for this, remember, on the one hand, there are customers, billion dollar companies, with money in hand, ready to buy our device. On the other, there are partners ready to produce it. But what's missing in the middle? Covering the setup costs, which basically means building the molds, um, R&D, and certifications, and yes, starting production, which, by the way, is covered by invoice advance bank credit. So with 650K, you can jump into this business. Remember, we have the product that can unleash vertical farming into the mass market. And technology is not replicable. We are doing our best to give to our children a better world to live in. So if you want to join our mission, invest in Wolf Farm. And as I like to end, moving vertical is moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> it's yours. OK. <clears throat> First question is going to be personal. In fact, I'm going to blow your socks off. So <laughs> this guy is not a startupper. Whenever I see him, you know, I got this guy, you know, he missed an actorial career, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I just discovered <clears throat> a few minutes ago, he was entertaining all the backstage playing piano. <laughs> <laughs> so what on earth? got you to become a startupper? A startupper? <laughs> uh, I want to thank InnovAction Lab. Who of you knows it? Great <laughs> applause for InnovAction Lab. Where's Augusto? Where's Augusto? <laughs> yeah, uh, we took part in InnovAction Lab, and um, our project uh, has been funded by Barilla for a specific product uh, to fit in their offices. Uh, we have built a product, uh, delivered it to Parma, and we're still working on Barilla on this product. And we took the automation part to sell onto the, uh, the rest of the markets. I think Innovation Lab was enough as an answer. Yeah, it's the beginning. <laughs> so, going to serious stuff. Um, yeah, you're, you call it CPU, right? Yes. Um, you, you showed us home appliances. But can it also handle real sort of building size vertical farming? How does it work? Uh, sure, Leah. Uh, uh, our product is uh, basically made for any large scale implementation of vertical farming. One unit uh, in the actual version can handle up to 200 plants. So for any large scale implementation, just put, just put one beside the other, and you can have plenty of plants with affordable price. Let's do some vertical farming in Rome, right? Okay, thank you, Iris. Thank you all, thank you, Peter. <laughs>